Hello, fellow Voyagers. Jess here with Odyssey Human, here today to talk about the one question that really determines your happiness. Welcome to the channel. This is a place where we help you hack through the jungles of consciousness so that you can discover the hidden treasures inside of you. And my friends, it's all there, ready to be activated at your disposal. So if that sounds good, please subscribe. We'd love to have you join us here. And today's question, you know, Happiness is such a hot topic. We're all seeking it. We're all searching it. We're all trying to set up the situation and the circumstances to allow happiness to grow. But the better question is, and here it is, I'm going to give it to you right out of the gate. Who is responsible for your happiness? Who or what? Like that is really the question when you genuinely sit there and reflect on who is responsible for your happiness. Of course, we might think, oh, of course it's me, I, right? I'm responsible for my own happiness. However, what happens in reality in our daily lives <laughs> is often that we leave our happiness to the circumstances around us, right? We, we delegate our happiness and let it, let it go to luck, right? How lucky are we? Are, are things going our way? Is our SP back? Are we a millionaire yet? Do we have our dream job? And we forget that we ultimately hold the responsibility for our own happiness. And this isn't to beat you up about, you know, you should be taking more responsibility. It's just to gain a greater awareness that our happiness is our choice. And do you make a habit out of happiness? Are you, because when we take responsibility for it, right, we then create habits around it, just like your health, um, your physical health. It's our responsibility to stay healthy, right? To eat well, to get enough rest, to drink enough water, to exercise, right? Those are all the habits that support that choice of, I want to be healthy, so I do these things. I, I incorporate these habits into my daily routine, and I do them in order to be healthy. Same thing with happiness. I want to be happy, so I do these things. I do these habits. And what are those habits? The habits are, you know, managing our, <laughs> managing our attention, right? Where is my attention going? Am I focusing on the things in my life that make me happy? Or am I focusing on the problems and the things I need to find solutions for and the things that are bumming me out and the things that annoy me about my job or my life? Where's your attention going? Are you managing your attention? Are you turning it towards your joy? Or are you letting it get absconded with and taken by the problems in your life? What are some other happiness habits? What kind of stories are you telling, right? It's the same. I talk about the same things over and over again. And so because I want you to habituate them. <laughs> and so what kind of narratives are you telling? What kind of frames are you putting on things? Are you putting frames on things that make you happy? Are you framing things in a way that adds to your joy or are you describing the way things are in your life um, to be factual? Are you describing them in an effort to be factual and realistic instead of putting a spin on them that will make you happy, right? I often, you know, when people call me, I'll often be like, tell me about the best case scenario. Like, let's just indulge for a second. And it's amazing how... <laughs> As adults, we don't want to do this very often, openly with our friends or our family or whoever we regularly talk to. We are hesitant to talk about how we want things to go and, and imagine and indulge in the fantasy, even if it feels like fantasy, but even to just indulge it for a second. But yet, we're willing to gossip and talk bad about people and complain and get vitriolic, and we're willing to do all of that. And exaggerate negatively but exaggerating positively is something that we hesitate to do we just it feels uncomfortable right because we don't have happiness habits in place so are you taking responsibility for your own happiness by building happiness habits and how do you do that you turn your attention to the things that make give you joy and you tell better stories Tell nicer stories. Tell more fantastical, wonderful, incredible stories about how things work out in your life and 
you're going to feel that. You're going to start then to habituate happiness. Habituate it, right? We want to make happiness a habit. And this is part of how we differentiate our ability to identify happiness because we can say, well, I'm happy because I really like my job and I'm happy because things are going well in my life or I'm happy because of X, Y, Z. But then that leaves it to luck and to chance and to circumstances being lined up the way that we want them. But when we make happiness a habit and we say, you know what, I'm going to clean up my thoughts. I'm going to really not talk bad to myself in my own head. I'm not going to be critical. I'm going to tell good stories about people. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to be optimistic and, and do it in a genuine manner. We build happiness habits and then we start to generate our own happiness. That's really what taking responsibility for your own happiness means. At one point a few years ago when I identified as highly sensitive, I realized that I had built habits of being miserable in the way I talked to myself, in my thought processes, how I looked at everything in life, how I framed everything in life, where my attention was going. I constantly fixated on the negative. And that whole identity, it felt like crap all of the time. Right? And I had built habits to be miserable constantly. So I ask you, what is your, if you were to take stock of your normal operating mode, what kind of habits have you built? Are they in support of happiness or are they in support of misery, of complaining, of, you know, staying in a negative emotion? And you may find, you may find that it's not, it's really, it is starting all from within us, right? It's the cloud of thoughts moving into how we act in situations, moving into our outcomes. It's like this emanating force. So build happiness habits. Pay attention to where your attention is going, the types of stories you're telling, and make time for happiness indulge in happiness and make it a habit in your life of how you feel on a regular basis. If you leave it to chance, that's okay too. Many of us do that. But if you want to be happy, if you want to build happiness in your life, if you want to assume that responsibility, this is how you do it. You make happiness and joy or even, you know, satisfaction, fulfillment, whatever feeling that you want to feel, make a habit in your life of feeling it and then setting yourself up with your thoughts, right? Your thoughts, your stories, your attention. Set yourself up for success to perpetuate that habit. Because that's how we really take responsibility. And that's how we make happiness a habit. And that's how we really step up and claim. Claim happiness for ourselves instead of leaving it to when things are going well in our lives. So thanks for watching. If you have a comment... Uh, please drop it below. I'm happy to engage with you. Also, if you need a tool, I always have a free tool in the description box to help you practice taking control of your emotional state. Um, you can find that below. It is free. So I'm happy to share that with you and have a wonderful day.